Welcome to Vodhisattva Morning Bhagavatam class. This morning we will be um, studying, reading, learning, and discussing from uh, Srimad Bhagavatam, Canto 1, Chapter 17, Verse 4. The chapter is entitled The Punishment and Reward of Kali, and the class will be given by His Grace Prakshit Prabhu from Iskon Harrisburg. Without delay, we will start the class. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Jai Radha Madhava Kunya Bihari Jai Radha Madhava 
चैतन्य <coughs> बाबु नित्यानंद श्री अद्वैत कदारहा शिवा शरद गोवर भक्त वृंद की जाय श्री शिवार हा कृष्ण गोप गोपीनाथ श्याम कुनुरार हा कुन गिरि गोवरान की जाय वृंदावन धाम की जाय मथुरा धाम की जाय नवद्वीप धाम की जाय जगन्नाथपुरी धाम की जाय जगन्नाथ स्वामी की जाय गंगा माई की जाय जमुना माई की जाय तुलसी देवी की जाय भक्ति देवी की जाय हरे कृष्ण महामंत्र की जाय सामवेद भक्त बिंद की जाए गोर विवरणी हरि भो ऑल ग्लोरियस टू दसेंबल दिवोरीज हरे कृष्णा ऑल ग्लोरियस टू दसेंबल दिवोरीज हरे कृष्णा ऑल ग्लोरियस टू दसेंबल दिवोरीज हरे कृष्णा ऑल ग्लोरियस ऑल ग्लोरियस टू दोरी स्वीड और शिष्य गुरु और गोरा जय कृष्ण नमो विष्णु प्रदाय कृष्ण कृष्णाय भूतले श्रीमति भक्ति तेरे स्वामी के नाम नमस्ते कृष्ण बदाय प्रभु पार्षदात्मिकोरकर्ण शक्ति भक्ति नारायण नमस्कृत नरोतम देवी सरस्वती व्यास जय वीर 
Nasta Paris, what Madrid soon it came back of the sea by. Bow to the most to keep back to what it nice to keep. Om no more, Bagavate, Vasude Vaya. Om no more, Bagavate, Vasude Vaya. Om no more, Bagavate, Vasude Vaya. Hare Krishna, good morning, the Buddhist, the Stephan Basinses, or Glory Shira Power Pai. This morning's Bhavatam class is from Canto 1, chapter 17, and text 4. Prapacharatam Haruda Kartasvara Parichyadam Vega Kambiraya Vacha Samaropita Karmuka Prapacharatam Haruda Kata Swara Parich Chadam Megara Gambiraya Bacha Samaru Pita Karmuka Prapacha Ratam Arudha Kata Swara Parich Chadam Mega Gambiraya Bacha Samaru Pita Karmuka Hare Krishna this Mother Gita online. Okay. Papracharatamarudha Kartasvara Parichadam Megha Gambira Gambira Yavacha Samaro Pitakar Mukha Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Anyone else? Okay, word for word. Prapacha inquired. Ratam chariot, Aruda seated on, Kataswara gold, Parich Chadam embossed with, Vega cloud, Gambiraya exonerating, Vacha sound, Samaru Pita well equipped, Karmuka arrows and bow. Translation by His Divine Grace A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Srila Prabhupada. Maharaj Pariksit, well equipped with arrows and bow and seated on a gold embossed chariot, spoke to him, the Shudra, with a deep voice sounding like thunder. Purport by Srila Prabhupada. An, an administrative head or king like Maharaj Pariksit with full majestic authority well equipped with weapons to chastise miscreants, can challenge the agents of the age of Kali. Then only will it be possible to counteract the degraded age. And in the absence of such strong executive heads, there's always disruption of tranquility. The elected show bottle executive head as representative of a degraded public cannot be equal with a strong king like Maharaj Pariksit. The dress or style of royal order does not count. It is one's actions which are counted. Oma Ginati Vidandasya, Gyana Gyana Shalakaya, Chapshu Mumilitam Gyana Tasma Sri Guru Vena Maha, Sri Chitanya Manovistam Stapitam Yena Bhutale, Swayam Rupa Kadamayam Vidati Swapadantika. Pande ham Sri Guru Sri Vita Pada Kamalam Sri Guru Vaisthavam Sicha. Sri Rupa Sagajatam Sahagana Raghunatam Vitam Tam Sajipa. Sadvaitam Sabadutam Parijana Sahitam Krishna Chaitanya Deva. Sri Radha Krishna Pada Sahagana Malita Sri Vishakam Vitam Sicha. E Krishna Krishna Sindhu Inabandi Jagatpate. Kope Shagopika Kanta Radha Kanta Namastate. Dr. Kanchana Gorangi Radhe Vandavaneshwari Vishabhanu Sute Devi Panamami Hari Priya Vancha Kalpatru Vesha Kripa Sindhi Eva Chapati Tano Pavanevyo Vaishnavyo Namonama Jai Shri Krishna Chaitanya Pavani Chananda Chidvaita Gadadha Shiva Shari Gora Bhakta Vrinda Hari Krishna Hari Krishna 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 Hari 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 Ram Hari Ram 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 Hari Hari Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Hare Hare. 
नमो विष्णुपदाय कृष्ण कृष्णाय भूतले श्रीमाति भक्ति वेदांत स्वामी जी नाम नमस्ते सरस्वती देवी गौर भान प्रचार निर्विशेषाश्चर्यादेशिताय नमो महावदन्याय कृष्ण प्रेम पदाय ते कृष्णा कृष्ण चैतान्य नम निगुर आनंद लील माय विग्रहाय हिमाच विश्वराय तस्म महाप्रेम राजस्पदाय चितान्य चंद्राय नमो नमस्ते श्री चितान्य चंद्राय नमो नमस्ते श्री चितान्य चंद्राय नमो नमस्ते श्री चैतान्य चंद्राय नमो नमस्ते हरे कृष्णा सो द ट्रांसलेशन अगेन महाराज परीक्षित well equipped with arrows and bow and seated on a gold embossed chariot spoke to him the sudra with a deep voice sounding like thunder hare krishna so this is a continuation of the episode you can call it past time the like of maharaj prakshit traveling around his kingdom and coming to the bank of the river saraswati and coming upon the bull and the cow and this shudra deceptively dressed like a king and beating the legs of dharma beaten to the point where three legs are broken and he's standing only on one leg which is truthfulness so a proper king seeing that things are going wrong with the spiritual rule of law and that maya is setting in hmm, as a personification of the age of quarrel of trouble and the age of deceit because the way the shooter was dressed he was dressed like a king but he was doing something that a good king would not do the good king was in fact the real king who was ruling at the time maharaj pariksha the grandson of the pandavas and so he was going to take action and deal with this shudra before that can be done the king has to announce what is wrong and so he spoke to the shudra with the voice sounding like thunder which means he spoke in a very authoritative voice So in the purpose your papa says when we have a raja rishi a saintly king who is very kind but at the same time is strict when he has to be with full majestic authority and equipped with the proper weapons also that he can use to chastise the miscreants if we have that then the agents of the age of kali the age of quarrel can be challenged and in fact put in their place mm-hmm. only then will it be possible to counteract the degraded age so as i was reading this for the class when read up to this point where we got to in the purport immediately my mind started thinking but who is the type of administrative head or king like maharaj prakashit these days wherever you look around the world where would you find someone like that everybody has selfish means selfish motivation to go up to challenge whoever else and vie for the position of president the people get deceived i'm going to do this for you i'm going to do that for you i'm going to change this for you see these things are going wrong and i'm going to do all of that Talk to the whole nation it doesn't matter what nation that is yet once they get that position with the power that comes to it with the money that stay then a whole different program mm-hmm. program of maya gets put in place so it would take a king like maharaj bhikshu to set things straight now krishna is definitely capable of bringing and has done it changed the government of a demon and put someone who is righteous there this age of kali at this point the way the bodies can help to challenge the agents of kali is by the holy name of the lord 
हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे इट इज ऑल्सो पॉसिबल टू कैनरेक्ट दिस ग्रेटेड एज विद द होली नेम एंड दोस हु आर विलिंग बट इट्स अ डिफरेंट थिंग इट्स नॉट लाइक रूलिंग द होल प्लेनेट लाइक द वे महाराज प्रेक्षित वाज रूलिंग बट इन दिस केस व्हेन वी स्टार्ट चैंटिंग हु एवर वांट्स टू बी पार्ट ऑफ इट ऑल्सो gets to get to know about the power of the chanting of the holy name and by continuing chanting the holy name they we will bless especially when we chant out loud in hari nam bless all the living entities around but the agents of kali are the ones that are controlling things now and in this case as the power part explains the time will come when the demons one country's president will wage war against the demon from another country so basically what set up is for the demons to destroy themselves mm-hmm. that is the program that is a lord's program according to his pure devotee the spiritual master mm-hmm. but you know papa says that when there's a strong the absence of strong executive heads mm-hmm. righteous executive heads who are god fearing who are who are definitely servants of the lord when they absent there's always disruption of peace of tranquility and we see that in our lives now it is a difficult life to live these days because no matter what we try to do to remain at some level of peace there are decisions that's made at the political level that affect us mm-hmm. and it's slowly 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 things are tightened up taxes go up mm-hmm. in the for the longest time when there was a proper king ruling the tax system was you give 25% of what you pay to the king that was across the board nobody had to file taxes they knew a quarter of what they made went to the king in business it was understood that if you produce something and you are selling it you're going to sell it for a quarter of what you it cost you to get it to produce it go up by 25% that was it these days if you go up by 25% taxes alone are going to get you out of business because the taxes is too much you cannot sustain with that kind of increase but going up 25% only in a quarter of what it cost to make that product it meant the things were not so so expensively so then people could afford it but these days you have to go by three times at least of what you bought something for in order to make a little profit even if you double it double what it cost you to make something and you try to sell it at double the price you stand the risk of making very little to no money because you have to you know take care of the facility that makes the you know the, the overhead it's called the facility you have to pay people who are helping you and then you have to pay taxes and all of that adds up to so much um, expense it is like well that's the reality well the reality is those expenses may be there but they are such high expenses that profit simply disappears unless the person goes up and charges so much more so that is a situation we're in at this point it's an unfortunate situation but it's the greed of people that have led to this nobody fights the other person's greed they say okay the government has raised this the people have raised this the local government has done that the state government has done that the federal government has done that increasing the prices therefore i have to survive so i also increase the price we never fight against a person who has increased the prices why did you do that bring it down no so in that way this person increases that person increases that person increases that person increases and then the poor same amount of money we have to try to live with and so we're making ourselves more and more and more miserable 
So to counteract this degraded age is to look to the spiritual and to understand that that is what is going to be permanent. Material is only temporary and things would change. Things didn't change, we wouldn't have a history. History talks about it's an account of the changes that have happened on this planet. Hmm? So Sri Papa says, the elected hmm, show bottle, which means they don't know what to really do, but they're posing like they know how. Hmm? Show bottle executive head, representing the degraded public. It can't be a Rajavish, certainly not. Hmm? Even though they may be dressed like the king or the president. So the point of the Papa had made is that Shudra was dressed like a king. And these days there are people who come dressed like, yes, they get all of the perks, all of the motorcade and all of this when they travel, cost so much money. But their position because you're Shudra does not count. In one place, if Papa quoted a scripture that in politics, people are electing, and you would not believe this, <laughs> he said, dogs, hogs, camels, and asses. People without much sense, hmm? none untrained people for running the government. And the people don't know the people. They also vote to we put another person who's like that. Hmm? People who don't know what's right, they vote another person who is like a dog, hog, camel. So then, then the president, that's one of those mentality. Hmm? So it's one's actions that count. So when situations become difficult, the Lord steps in. Like in the um, Shumar Bhavatam, he talks about Maharaj Prithu. And before he came, became king, Maharaj Prithu is an incarnation of the Supreme Personality of Godhead. There was great havoc. There was maladministration. Hmm? The vicious life of the previous king, King Dina, made life very difficult for the people. Hmm? So the intelligent class of men, the sages, Brahmanas, they prayed for the Lord to come down. That was one. But they also dethroned the previous king because then the Brahmanas could chant mantras to actually take a person's life. So they took King Venus' life like that by chanting mantras. So it is the duty of the king to be pious and look after the all round welfare of the citizens. That's the way things should be. Mm -hmm. So, at the time Maharaj Pritu came, the earth had actually literally refused to give grains to the people, so the people were starving. What had happened was that there were trees that had grown on the earth, and, and Mother Bumi caused it, because there were no sacrifices. The things that the Brahmanas were supposed to do was not being done because King Bina had stopped it the evil king had stopped it. And so what had happened was that trees had grown close to each other and the, the roots, I mean, not, not only the roots, but the, uh, the branches and the leaves and so on had formed a big covering. Mm -hmm. So regular plants could not grow. Regular plants that would give vegetables and so on could not grow. And this is how the earth blocked. Mm -hmm the production of grains, and therefore people were starving. So when Maharaj Kriti became king, King Vina, the evil king, had been dethroned. In fact, he was dead. But what had happened was that hmm, the earth, now there is a pious king, but the earth simply did not want to produce anything. So, so the people complained that we are still starving, even though you are a righteous king. So please do something about it. So Maharaj Peter contemplated the matter, 
You see, if you could find out the underlying causes, this is all in the fourth canto, 17th chapter of Srimad Bhavatam. So when the king realized that it was the earth that was doing that, immediately took his bow and arrow and aimed them at Bhumi. Mm -hmm. So he was angry at Bhumi, Mother Bhumi. So the earth then saw that King Kritu was taking his bow and arrow to kill her. He became very much afraid. Then he began fleeing. Mm -hmm. Again, he took the shape of a cow and began to run, just like he took the shape of a cow and came up in, 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 in the situation of Maharaj Pritchard also. But Maharaj Pritchard became very angry and he placed an arrow on his bow and he chased Mother Bhumi in the form of a cow. Wherever she would run, Maharaj Pritchard was there. The cow shaped earth and ran here everywhere in outer space between the heavenly planets and the earth. Wherever she ran, the king chased her with his bows and arrows. So finally, he realized that it's not going to be of any help. So he turned and she turned and then she began to talk to King Petra. He says, But you are a pious king, and a pious king is supposed to be a protector. So rather than chase me, you should actually save me. Mm -hmm. He says, I'm very poor. I've never com I've not committed any sinful activity. I don't know why you want to kill me. You're the knower of all religious principles. Why are you so envious of me and anxious to kill a woman, a female, a cow? Why? Mm -hmm. So then the king said, my dear earth, you have disobeyed my orders. Mm -hmm. In the form of a demigod, you've accepted your share of the yagyas to perform. So what had happened was the yagyas were stopped when King Bina was in power. But when Maharaj Pritu came, mm -hmm, King Bina was gone, Maharaj Pritu came, the yagyas were resumed. But still, Mother Bhumi was not producing food grains. That is what, that's what had happened. So things were back to normal under Maharaj Pritu. And my, um, Mother Bhumi has the status of a demigod. In fact, it's even higher when you talk about, when you bring uh, the um, other incarnations of Krishna into it. Mm -hmm. So we won't get into details on that one. We won't get up, uh, of course. But Maharaj Pritu is saying, in the form of a demigod, you got to accept the share of the yagyas that we performed. But then you should produce this, like, you know, all demigods come for their share of the yagya, and then they do what they're supposed to do. The Krishna is giving them the right to do or supervise. Mm -hmm. So that was the fault of Bhumi. And so, the Maharaj uh, Pritu in first canto chapter 20, uh, 17, text 27. Mm -hmm. So he was saying now, Maharaj Pritu was there on the earth, that you're very much puffed up with pride. Mm -hmm. You become almost insane. You've used your mystic powers to assume the form of a cow. But all the same, I shall cut you piece to pieces like grains. Mm -hmm. And I will hold the entire population by my personal mystic powers. Because Mother Bhumi was arguing that, but people are on me and I support them. We live, we know, at the surface of the earth. And if you kill me, then where will all these people get their support? Hmm? But my heart would to say, I can use my own personal mystic powers to support the people, the entire population. So finally, when Bumi realized that there was no getting out of the situation and he, she could, you know, could be killed by Maharaj Pritu. Then in the next uh, chapter, Bhavatam chapter, Canto 4, chapter 18, then Mother Bumi began to describe how it is, what it is that should be done. Mm -hmm. He's um, a cow, in the form of a cow. So then he said that, you got to get me a calf, 
And if the calf milks me, then I'll be able to produce for the earth planet. So Pritha Maharaj, and for that matter, all Rajavishis have the welfare of the people at heart. And so when they are in power, things like hunger, strife, they are all taken care of. And people become very happy. You can imagine in Dwarka when Krishna was king, there was so much happiness there. Supreme Personality of Godhead himself. There was abundance, everything. So that's the way it is. When there's good government, then there's abundance. When there's bad government, then there's strife and there's famine. So then it's on the people also what type of government that they want, what type of person that they would elect. So somehow we also you know, taking on the problems by electing somebody who is no good, hmm? no good. But that's why I see the Papa says people are not thinking straight. Dogs, hogs, asses, and camels. They're not thinking straight. They're not thinking properly. They're not thinking spiritually. They have abandoned the Lord. And therefore, this is the result of what you get. So the Lord will, in fact, give what we need if we open up to him. To the extent that we submit to the Supreme Personality of Godhead, he will, in fact, give us hmm, what's needed. So as devotees, there's so much that we can do personally and also as a group. There are many things that we have to remember. And we'll go some of, go to some of those, especially this is a Purushottam month, very, very important month, hmm? the month of Krishna. The more you do service, hmm, the happier you're going to be. One of the services that the body should really seriously consider doing if they're not doing is to have Tulsi at the house and to worship Tulsi Maharani. Now in Gaga Samhita, in Canto 2, Gaga Samhita is also in Cantos, in chapter 16 and text 15, there's a purport where that was made by the, um, um, Daniel Goswami, a disciple of Srila Prabhupada, who had the purpose for it. And he actually was bringing in his purport, there's a section here on text 15 that I would like to point out, read so the ways see the importance of Tulsi. Mm -hmm. what, stands, one, what one stands to gain by connecting with Tulsi Maharani. So, Maharaj is saying, Govinda Dasi, who's a Dasi service, quoted from the Padma Purana. So this is from Padma Purana, as follows. Tulsi is the essence of all devotional activities. The leaves, the flowers, the roots, the bark, the branches, the trunk, and shade of Tulasi Devi are all spiritual. Hmm? So the leaves are spiritual, the flowers are spiritual. And then when the dust gets to be a large, big tree, because it can go like a regular tree, then the roots, the bark, the branches and trunk can all be used in spiritual activity. Mm -hmm. One who puts mud from the base of a Tulsi tree on his body and worships the deity of Lord Krishna, that person gets the results of 100 days worship each day. Every day they get that. It means they, 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 the benefits from that is magnified 100 times. Hmm. A person who offers a Tulsi manjari to Lord Krishna, the flowers, gets the benefit of offering all other varieties of flowers. And he goes to the abode of Krishna. So those activities are very purifying. When you say go to a boat of Krishna, it doesn't mean that you just up, you've done it, therefore you go. Yes, you will definitely go to the abode of Krishna, but it makes you more Krishna conscious. Mm -hmm. The service and the use of Tulsi is very purifying. And that, of course, the pure you get, then you get it a chance of going back to Godhead. One who sees or comes near a house or garden where the Tulsi plant 
is present, that person gets rid of all the sinful reactions, even that of killing a Brahmana. So being around Tulsi, sinful reactions are counteracted. Hmm? Lord Krishna lives happily in a house or town or forest where Tulsi Devi is present. The Lord likes to be where Tulsi Devi is. Hmm? A house where Tosi Devi is present never falls on bad times. And it becomes purer than all holy places. So to purify a house, have Tosi there and serve Tosi. Hmm? The fragrance of Tosi Devi purifies all who smell it. So being having it is wonderful. Having the Tosi plant itself. Hmm? itself. Lord Krishna and all the demigods, they live in the house where mud from the base of a Tulsi tree is found. They will be there. You may not see them in person, but then we guys, but they will come. Without Tulsi leaves, Lord Krishna does not elect, they don't, without, sorry, without Tulsi leaves, Lord Krishna does not like to accept flowers, food, or sandalwood paste. You offer, there has to be Tulsi leaves. Hmm? One who worships Tulsi, one who wants it, Lord Krishna daily with those leaves, they attain, that person attains the results of all kinds of austerity, charity, and sacrifice. In fact, he has no other duties to perform, and he has realized the essence of the scriptures. One who puts Tosi into his mouth or on his head, hmm, those Tosi leaves that have been offered to Lord Krishna attains Lord Krishna's abode, that is when they live in your body. In Kali Yuga, one who worships or remembers or plans or keeps or performs Ketan before Tulsi burns up all sinful reactions and quickly attains Lord Krishna's abode. This is all from Padma Purana. One who worships Lord Krishna with Tulsi leaves releases all his ancestors from the realm of birth and death. Hmm? One who remembers the glories of Tosi or tells others about them will never take birth again. So there's so much, and this is some of what's in the Padma Purana that Govinda Dasi Mataji put together and, you know, and uh, I mean, pulled, pulled together and in the translations here. So definitely, the advantage of having Tulsi at the house, worshiping Tulsi, cannot be overstressed. So this is one of the things that the, the Buddhists have not thought about. They really, 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 really should consider trying to hold on to Tulsi, and not only having Tulsi, but holding on to Tulsi. And this is the time to get Tulsi if you don't have it. It's the summertime in Tulsi, sometimes in different stores, Indian stores, you might, some people, cultivate and they keep Tulsi. And if you ask around and do what is, you will definitely get one. And just ask the person who is, you know, who has Tulsi, how they take care of Tulsi. She's not like any other plant. Uh, some things that you do for Tulsi, you don't do for other plants. You do exactly the opposite that you take care of other plants for Tulsi. And so, yes, there's a way to take care of Tulsi, but there's so much benefit with Tulsi being in the house. So even Shimati Radharani worshipped Tosi. Shimati Radharani was advised to worship Tosi. He wanted to be around in Vrindavan, he wanted to be around Krishna so much before they met. He was so much in love with Krishna that literally she was fainting to see Krishna at a distance with the coward voice I mean, when she was at home in the um, Maharaj Vishabhanu's palace and Krishna's walking. And she can see Krishna where she was at. She literally would faint. How to get close to Krishna? And so one of the gopis, Chandanana Gopi, who was well versed in the scriptures, told Smati Radharani, you have to worship Tulsi. And when you worship Tulsi, Krishna will be very pleased and then we'll be close. But certainly Lalita and Vishaka always have a say in these things. So Lalita went to Krishna literally and it was talking about how Shimati Radharani was very, very eager mm, to associate with Tosi. 
I mean, with um, with uh, with Krishna. And Krishna said that, well, we are one actually. So just like she's missing me, I'm missing him also. But there's still a way to do it because we're in different palaces. Hmm? Nanda Maharaj's palace is different from Vishwanath's palace. So they were separate. And so to have the whole pastime unfold, Chandanana Gopi told Alorani, you worship Tosti. Hmm? This is how to, in Gaga Samhita, this is the flow of how Tosti came into the picture. So for us, the same Govinda Dasi that compiled this from Padma Purana that we just read is also the one that brought Tulsi to the United States, into the West, from India. Same person. And so now we have, and let's take advantage of worshiping, because if we cannot change the government, the Kaliyuga type of government that we have, at least we can purify our own homes, purify our own lives. Mm -hmm. From chanting Hare Krishna, from hearing mm -hmm, and having discussions, but we add another level to it, which is taking care of Tosi Maharan. And when we do that, then there will be so much more blessings. And imagine the person leaving a body and tossing, having some say in telling Krishna or telling Arani, this person worship me, therefore give him or her the mercy to come back to Godhead. How fortunate that person is mm -hmm. to take advantage of the worship of Tosi also while he's here. Thank you so much for such a wonderful class and especially adding the pastime, which is really, really nice about King uh, Prithu. And uh, that was nice how uh, he was, uh, I don't know whether the word is chastising or correcting or whatever to Mother Earth, that she mm. was taking all the benefit and not giving grain. So that was really, wow, a very nice pastime. Thank you for sharing that. And also, of it course, the, the pastime of Tulsi and how we can all do extra <coughs> prayers, extra service, especially service in the month of Purushottam. So thank you so much. Would like to ask devotees, you have any questions, any comments, any clarification, or even a takeaway, please do unmute yourself and share your thoughts. We would love to hear from you. And, uh, or anything that you have to share, please do share. Yes, Mother Gita, please go ahead, Mother. Hare Krishna, 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 Thank you so much. Hare Krishna, 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 from one Sanyasi Maharaj in Houston, he was giving a lecture. Hare and Krishna. Jai. He was, you read my mind, Mataji, because when I'm sorry to cut into, but I, I definitely would love to hear. Um, when when Anseel was saying, you know, any takeaways, and I, I, I almost meant like chiming in all pastimes that you know, but I'm sure you are. <laughs> First thing you're going to talk about is something that we'd like to hear. So please, yeah. please yeah. go on. Hare Krishna. Something that I heard for the first and the last time, that was the only time I heard mm. and very inspired hearing that. First of all, Maharaj was, the whole lecture was about uh, uh, proper etiquette, proper pronunciation, etc. He said, devotees are so used to uh, uh, singing nursing a prayer, but they don't memorize the exact words like, now, Eto Narsim Ho, they will say Eto Narsim Ha. You see? So oh. he said, meaning changes. So it's important. And then what I did was right away memorize as it is, you know, so there is no mistake, you know, in O or A or whatever. And another thing he was talking about uh, was that uh, we should always uh, say, Tulasi Maharani, not Tulsi Maharani. He said, ah. he said that is the right uh, right way to address uh, Tulasi Maharani. And uh, okay. he gave the reasons why, but mm. you know, Kaliuga memory, <laughs> I don't remember the reason. <laughs> but I just thought I'll share that with you. Thank you. Oh, I like 
Mother, it's interesting that you mentioned that because I'm sorry, I'm, I'm moving while. It's interesting that you mentioned that because I actually did hear that also from someone about Tulsi because Tulsi's name is spelled Tulasi and there is um, ancient, um, uh, uh, what you might call it, uh, I don't know, Acharya or, mm -hmm. uh, you know, called Tulsi Das. So it's different. And and I, I did hear someone else mentioning that one time. So thank you, Mother. How And in fact, Vish, uh, Vishugada Prabhu always stresses, you know, that we should be very clear. Like when we chant, you know, especially in Kirtan, you know, we should be saying, uh, you know, I've heard people say, you know, when they come to the point of Rama, they say Ramo, and it should be Rama. And that was also corrected by, I think, by one sannyasi, which I don't know who it was. So thank you, Mother Gita, for sharing that. It's, it changes the meaning. It changes the meaning. So thank you for, for sharing that. And uh, yes, Shushwarup was saying, I remember His Holiness Chandra is talking about the Maha Mantra. Yes, I think he was the one. Rama and not Ramo. Yes. He I said, who is, who is Ramo? <laughs> yeah, like Rambo, right? right? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, he's yeah. the one. Guess what? Yes, I remember that too. So thank you for bringing that up. Absolutely. I, I remember uh, in Potomac, one time we was going to uh, the Iskand DC temple. It was also Sri Papa disciple that came up to me because I was doing sometimes Rama and sometimes Ramo. And he says, no, there's no Ramo. No. Um, so yes, it's 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 important that we pronounce the word and pronounce it properly. And so we're addressing who we want to address and not, you know, do it whimsically. Nothing should be whimsical in Krishna consciousness. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Good point. Yes. Um, anyone else has a takeaway? Any questions? Actually, you know, when you were speaking, what was coming to my mind is when initially in the beginning of your class, you were saying that when you read the purport, the first thing that you came that came to your mind, I think, was um, how authoritative uh, Maharaj Parikshit was. You know that, mm. um, um, and then she proper ended the last two sentences. It's not the dress that counts; is the action which counted, which counts. And I'm remember. And as soon as I read that, what what came to my mind was Balabhadra Prabhu's point about example is better than precept. Mm. He always stresses that point that one's action carries more weight than what we speak. Mm. Because anyone can be a parrot. Anyone can be a parrot. Anyone can just, you know, recite. Any, anyone can speak. Anyone can whatever. But if they cannot walk the talk of what they spoke, then it's just like a parrot. So I, I was really... Uh, remembering how Balabhadra Prabhu would always stress this point, uh, example is better than precept, and we should go based on action, not just words. So that was my takeaway from this. Yes, Mother Gita, please, Mother. Yeah, I wanted to apologize for bringing it up. <laughs> no, um, Mother, please, not at all. Go ahead. And, uh, no, the point that I made before, yeah, I remember his name is Bhakti Sundar Maharaj. I think he's from South America. Uh, ah. Okay. 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 Very nice. Aye. Yeah. So, um, yes, yeah, so this was very, very powerful for me, you know, how uh, Maharaj Prakshit was very exemplary. That's what was coming to me. Was he was mm -hmm. very exemplary both in words and action. They were always, you know, in a line. They were never different, never mm -hmm. ever different. So I, I was really, and when one has, when one is, you know, in a line with both the word, the words and action, then people will follow. Mm -hmm. If they just speak, and they don't act, then it's it's like you know. <laughs> it's hard to believe in trust yeah. person. Yeah, so that was the, my takeaway. The chanting of the holy name, of course, that can't be overstressed. We have to do this all of the time. And if you have Tulsi and you um, chant in the vicinity where Tulsi is, there's also blessings that you get. So yes. definitely, some people be 
would stand or sit in front of the altar and chant, that's good. But you also can chant you know, where Tulsi is, which benefits. I remember in Girinagri, we had Tulsi House. It was nicely decorated, the floor was clean, you know, and there were visitors. When they come, they see the Tulsi, Tulsi were 10 Tulsi pants, it was quite, they were quite big sized Tulsi pants. And, but the room itself was clean. And they were literally, because the floor was clean, they would sit on the floor with all the Tulsi plants around mm -hmm. them, and they would chant. And quite a few Sri Prabhupada disciples came and they did that. And so it was very nice. They blessed so many blessings. And if I can tell one more, one more pastime, there was one devotee, and this was the time I was in the Tulsi house, um, and we would spray. There were two devotees, I was one of them taking care of Tulsi. We would spray, uh, this is the summertime, water mm -hmm. and her because it cleans the bugs and all of that and so i opened one end of the toasty house there's two uh doors to enter one in from the temple and the other one that goes outside but the one that goes outside is when we if we want to you know spray it so the water will go out so this devotee hmm, saw that toasty plant was right at the door it's a big toasty plant it's almost three foot you know wide and three foot tall spraying and he says, oh, it's Tulsi, it's Tulsi, the, the water is a blessing. So he stood there and in his dhoti and kurta and allowed the water from Tulsi that was, the water was sprayed Tulsi, the other end coming out and from, just he just sit and took all of that and got wet. Another time, see the praising Tulsi, Tulsi Marani ki jai, and he was getting wet with Tulsi. You never know what the Buddhists went to, but that was quite a sight. He was a visitor. He wasn't you know, a resident. Really? Of that is visitor. such a sweet pastime. <laughs> <laughs> he really valued the yeah. baking water of Tulsi more than yes. anyone of us did, I guess, at that time. But that was really amazing. Tulsi ki jai. Mm -hmm. Amazing. <laughs> well, wow, that was a nice pastime. <laughs> just stood there just to get the the remnants of those uh, yeah. bathing waters you yeah as so the water was being purified by so Tulsi was cute. coming right on him <laughs> he was just taking it out it got so soaking wet from it yeah yeah I yeah it, but hey, that's what he wanted that <laughs> was so saying. nice very nice thank you for mm -hmm. sharing that thank you mm -hmm. anyone else would like to share a takeaway a a you know any you know reflection of, of pastime uh, please uh, do share would like to hear from you just a humble reminder that this Sunday we have a very special guest coming from Mayapur the TOVP um, His Grace Janani Vas Prabhu uh, His Grace Brajabala, uh, Brajabilas Prabhu and um, Sonanda Prabhu from uh, Baltimore so please uh, we request everyone and they are bringing with them the helmet of Lord Nishringadev and we all know that um, having the helmet of Lord Nasringadev on our heads is equal to having the Lord on our head. And he, they are also bringing the padukas, the uh, shoes of Lord, Lord you know, Nitananda, who is going to be leading the way for the TOVP, because as we know that he was the original spiritual master, so it's very important. And again, having Lord Nitananda's padukas on our head is equal to having the Lord on our head. Yes, Mother Gita, please, Mother, go ahead. Yes, uh, I I just wanted to add that it is very, very, very auspicious to be present for this. And uh, I mean, it's so blissful. In fact, Janani was Prabhu agreed to my house with the padukas and the helmet. And I cannot explain the bliss. So please don't miss this opportunity. Just go to the temple, have darshan of the helmet and the padukas and above all darshan of janani was prabhu thank and you so much mother for adding because i'm just literally getting goosebumps by you speaking i'm yeah. literally getting goosebumps <laughs> well recently i read that when Srila Prabhupada saw both the brothers janani was prabhu and his twin brother he said that uh, someone mentioned i think it was the Mahakrishna Maharaj who said they look like they have come straight out of Sri Chaitanya Charita Amrita. <laughs> you know, this. <laughs> oh. uh, Srila Prabhupada said, yes, they are not ordinary human beings. You see? So this is a very rare opportunity. Hare Krishna. 
Thank you so much, Mother. Thank you for sharing that. And again, yes. In fact, uh, Dear Krishna posted it on our temple WhatsApp group the other day. And I'm and I, I was reading, and the, the exact same thing that you said is actually what uh Shri Prabhupada was saying that Dear Krishna shared in our temple WhatsApp group. So I really encourage devotees to please do come out, you know. Um Lord Nityananda Padukas and Lord Nashringadev's helmet. We should be so eager to drive one, two, three, four hours because, you know, imagine the Lord's shoes on our head. I mean, the sh and it's not a replica. It's actually the Lord's shoes, you know? It's not like man-made or it's not like, you know, ordered. It's actually the Lord's shoes. So we should always think that, I, I mean, yeah, Mama, I think Mother Gita got me speechless, but yes. We should definitely go out of our way, out of our comfort zone, uh, do whatever it takes to really feel the potency. And in fact, this morning, what was really um, 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 uh, hitting me is that, you know, Janani was Prabhu, as your prophet says, are two very special boys that look like they just came out of Chaitani Charitamrita. Imagine them bringing these two shoes, I mean, the shoes and the helmet, from Mayapur Dham, the holy Dham of Mayapur, coming to our temple. Interestingly, where our dude, where our temple deities, Nitai Guru Chandra, were made in Navadvip. So I feel like it's a reunion. <laughs> to me, at least, I feel like Nitai Guru Chandra is going to have a reunion with the devotees from Mayapur with Lord Nityananda's helmet. And Lord, I'm sorry, Lord Nitananda's Padukas and Lord Nishringa's helmet, I think they're going to have their own internal party going on. Yes, Mother Gita. <laughs> sorry to add. It's okay. Uh, Please add, Mother. I'm, I'm, I'm so happy they're coming to Harrisburg because it's a blissful experience. And um, also what uh, Braj Vilas Prabhu was saying that um, Janani was Prabhu and his brother have very, very close relationship with Lord Nashingadev. And Lord Nashingadev hears their prayers. So Janani Vas Prabhu is so kind. He doesn't mind us writing our prayer, you know, and giving it to him so that he can pray to Lord Nashingadev for him, for us, you know. So, wow. yeah, so this is another opportunity. If we have obstacles in our spiritual path, we can write them with our name and give it to him. And he'll pray to Lord Nashina there. Hari Bol. Mother, if you hear and remember any more of it, please share with me and I'll be very happy to post it on our temple WhatsApp group so that I can, you know, devotees can be inspired more and more to come out this Sunday. Please, Mother, it is so powerful. Shara is saying, actually, I can see why Mataji is going speechless <laughs> because we can't <laughs> emphasize. Absolutely. It's just amazing. It's just, I think because yesterday when I was doing the noon offering and I was remembering, oh, we got to get this place ready. You know, we got a vacuum. We got to clean. I was just starting to throw up this morning. We got to get the place together. Now we got to make sure everything is tidy. Nitya Gopal brought chairs from his house, you know, very nice chairs for the devotees, for the TOVP devotees to sit on. And my mind is going and I looked at Nitai Guru Chandra while they were, after they had their lunch. And I said, wait, you're having a reunion this Sunday. <laughs> <laughs> you know, with Lord it's, <laughs> yeah. it It's a golden opportunity, you know, uh, can't miss. And um, Janani Mas Prabhu is almost 80 years old. And yes, he is, Mother. You're right. He is. He, you know, physically challenged in the sense, you know, very weak. And, but still, he's making the effort to come, you know. And uh, it was the blessing. So we should take full advantage and open our hearts and our bank accounts and, you know, give donations because it's for Lord Nashingadev, you know, our protector. So it's just a blissful experience. Yes, and especially they are doing this round because they want to complete, start and complete the Nashingadev wing in uh, TOVP by this October. So they do need the funds. So if we take our prayers to Lord Nasingadev and we are asking Janani was Prabhu to pray on Lord Nasingadev to us and he's taking that on behalf I mean talk about karma in my opinion talk about karma uh, we should definitely open our bank accounts as you said and really help 
um, uh, the Nashringiriv wing that they are going to open if we want our prayers to be taken to Lord Nashringiriv. So thank you, Mother Geeta. This is really, it, it is going to be an amazing Sunday. And I really, really ask devotees to please spread the word around, bring out the devotees, bring out your friends, come get the mercy of Lord Nashringadev and, and Lord Nitananda. And of course, the, the, the closest servants of both is Janani Vas Prabhu. And with him is Brajabi Las Prabhu. So please do pass around the news and come out and grab the mercy. And um, yeah, it's, it, it's going to be a weekend. It's going to be a great Sunday. Absolutely. Thank you so much. And we look forward to seeing everyone this Sunday. And we ask you to share and spread the word around. Vanchakapati Vyascha, Kripa Sindhu Beva, Chapati Tanam Bhavane, Vya Vaishnava, Vya Namo Namaha, Shila Prabhupad Ki Jai. Have Hare a Krishna. wonderful, wonderful day. Hari Hari Krishna. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Yeah. Where is the Shila Prabhupada? Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna, Mataji, Dhanva